hey there, a few minutes late, had trouble setting up the tripod. <clears throat> and now it's doesn't set up in the same spot. I got to move and adjust it around. So set up the tripod, adjust things around, move it up, and I still see it's off. So, <clears throat> oh well, David here with you. Talking about how to work on your health and wellness and fitness. You improve that by working on your body, mind, and spirit. It's what I call balancing the triad. <clears throat> Do this especially as we get later on in life. It's more important to take care of ourselves than anything else. And I kind of refer to as that second half decade. Second half century, not decade, second half century. There we go. <clears throat> All right, what are we talking about today? So when you begin your health and wellness journey, where do you start? Some place to start is start with the low-hanging fruit. So what do I mean by that? If you're going to start working on your health and wellness, for many people, it centers around their weight, so weight, or at least it's not so much the weight as they have the excess they carry around themselves. So they're usually looking at nutrition and exercise. But then you can also factor in, like what I do, there's new body, which I break down into fitness, nutrition, and rest. There is the mind, which I break down into the analytical mind, the creative mind, and the subconscious. And then there's the spiritual, which is personal spirituality, communal spirituality, and environmental spirituality. And then you can take each one of those, and those can broaden out as well. And from what I've learned from myself, as well as the teaching I've gotten, you do need the body, the mind, and the spirit all worked together to make sure to get the most benefit out, to get actually get true transformation. <clears throat> but with all that, it can seem a bit overwhelming with where do you start? Where do you go? Can I do this? Can I do this over here? Where do you work here? here? Let's start with the low-hanging fruit. <clears throat> the low-hanging fruit is what's the easiest one for you to start with. <clears throat> that's what it is. That's where you start out. What's the easiest one that's going to work for you that's going to fit into your life? If you want to start with exercise, okay, what can you do? Is it simply walking 10 minutes a day, which had a, had a challenge with that, had an activity challenge, which I did in the group. If you want some help with that, there's, there's a, it's in my guide section. Maybe it's you're with your mind. <clears throat> you want some quiet time. You got to learn just to kind of calm down and not be so "quote unquote" stressed out. Guess I got got a guy in that, got a little uh, one on that as well in the group. Maybe it's just simply nutrition. <clears throat> so nutrition, maybe you just start drinking a little bit more water. You substitute one instead of having a sugary uh, candy bar or something every every time. You can have sugary fruit. So you stick at your sweetness, but yet you got the vitamins, and minerals to go on top of that. <clears throat> If it's working on sleep, maybe you can get yourself going to bed just a couple minutes early. <clears throat> Whatever it is, you start with what's going to be easiest for you. That way there, because if it's too complicated, <clears throat> you're not going to do it. Or you might do it for a couple days and the life gets in the way and you realize this ain't going to do it. You might throw up your hands completely, give up. Excuse me. <clears throat> Don't want you to do that. I want you to simply start with what works for you. And that's why I emphasize when I, I talk here is I want to make sure... There's 101 programs and then some 1,001 programs you want to say out there about how you can do different things, different training, there's methodologies, there's this, there's that. But the bottom line is what works for you. <clears throat> I like this training program over here. There's one training program I like doing, but right now it can take up to two plus hours to work out. I don't want to do that. I'm doing something else. I'm modifying certain things. <clears throat> right now, because of my sleeping schedule, <clears throat> I don't quite get up and do my morning meditation. I could instead, I can just spend a couple moments there. I don't have time to do my 20-minute morning meditation, so I can just... And sometimes that's enough. Find out what's the low-hanging low, low fruit. What is the easiest thing for you to start with right now? And that's where you begin. And then as that works out, then you can maybe make add, another, add the next low-hanging fruit. And then add the next one, and then the next one. So they slowly start stacking up each other, and suddenly you got a whole transformation in your life. Your health and wellness improved. You worked on your body, mind, spirit. So therefore, health, wellness, and fitness has improved. You got energy, you sleep, you're trimming up, and all the above and everything in between. So that's where you want to start at. <clears throat> Find out what works for you, what fits in your life, and start there. The low-hanging fruit. What's easiest for you to start with? All right? Begin there and keep going. And if you want some help on that, as again, I already mentioned, two different guides that are uh, in my group. In the description, there is a link to the group, and there is free training there. Health and Wellness Year, which actually yesterday went through and finally got through and kind of redid some things, and they reformatted a little bit, so that's just been redone a bit. But it helps you to go through and figure out where you're at. Where do you want to go? 
let's figure out what body, mind, and fitness are, where you're at, how you're going to get there, what the obstacles, and everything kind of gets you at least started with that. And again, start with the low-hanging fruit. And here, I'm offering you local low-hanging fruit for you so you can figure out what the low-hanging fruit is for you. Okay, hope that made sense. All right, let me know your thoughts on any of that there, and I will catch you tomorrow. So take care and balancing to you. Bye-bye.